Um, remember, I told you that we are going to do artificial insemination. You remember our adverts on YouTube uh, with Mr. Horns of Hobby Farm, Ghana. We were coming here for a training of artificial insemination demonstration for people to see how exactly that things happen. Because most of you, you've been talking about artificial insemination, but we've been doing it in cows mostly, not in small ruminants. So in my country, I don't know anybody that does it. I've also been doing it in cows like many times, but I've never done it in small ruminants. So it was my first exposure. And I thought about of this uh, that people should see how is it done? Because now we are going to start doing it and the advantages. So, uh, Mr. Horns, you're welcome to hey, the darling. YouTube channel here. And uh, you're the teacher of the day. And you're going to tell us why would a person go for artificial insemination uh, in small ruminants? Let's be specific because for cows it has been done in different countries. Why would a person go for it in small ruminants? Yeah, thank you, Amish, yes. uh, for the opportunity being here. Uh, you know, one of the biggest advantages is that, um, you know, in my situation as a stud breeder, you need to breed constantly top quality animals. So what I do is, I've got 400, for example, 400 color red females, and I'm mating them with my five top bucks, which is my five SA champions, uh, with different characteristics, which I, which I need. So I, I'm, I use different bloodlines, for, and, and I need different characteristics. So, so selection is, is, is necessary always to, to, uh, to go ahead, and, and uh, not just to stay in front, but to, to develop the breed to the next level. Okay. So for, uh, for me as a stud breeder, that's very important. And uh, let's say for the farmers in Ghana, this is where we are. Yes. The other advantage is that you can introduce a female to top quality male, to top quality genetics without buying the male. Okay. So now you can use the semen of a buck which is worth 100,000, 150, 200,000. You can use the semen. So you can use it to enhance your, your indigenous, mm -hmm. you can help it to enhance your, your stud animals in the country. Yeah. So the, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just a method of, of getting you to the next level just quicker. Okay, so that means it is even cheaper, like you can even select any quality animal that you can't even afford to buy, but you get the semen for, uh, out of it at yeah. a cheaper cost. I think for for a start in, in Ghana, yeah. in Africa, yeah. you know, just to introduce purebred animals, Calaris, to the indigenous is exceptional because the advantage is the first generation. The body mass, carcass mass and growth rate enhances by 40 to 50 percent first generation F1. Oh. So if there's one advantage, this is the advantage of introducing your indigenous animal to artificial insemination. So how long have you been doing artificial insemination? You know, sorry to ask you, you're my senior because you're my trainer, so I don't have to ask you a lot, but I would like also to know uh, how long have you been doing this? You know, I've, I've uh, graduated in uh, 94 wow. and uh, even since before that. Wow. Um, That's long. Uh, I've started, well, my interest was still when I was at school, when I went to, to courses, mm -hmm. uh, AI courses and uh, you know the one thing is that to have the knowledge but to have the practical to do the practical it you become more and more successful of what you do and and your and again I've got a very natural approach even to, to AI so I uh, uh, I do it on a, on, a, on a much more natural scale where I, how I collect my semen or the semen for for the buck how I do the AI I will prepare my females uh, in your terms, you call it flush. So this is my total, my total approach towards. It's a, you know, it's it's a holistic approach towards. It. It's not a question just get the semen put inside the female. It's a. It's all about love. Love and uh, you know also the preparation of the, the animals. I don't know if you want to go into that. We we do not have time, but okay. we just know that technicians we we always have a lot of love. So believe me or not. He must be having love <laughs> because we are dealing with love. Basically, so do you think uh, uh, um, 
Mr. Hon, is it cheaper? What is the success rate like a farmer would expect? Because he might think that uh, I've put in my animal, like the way they see that if you serve it, you automatically have it. Yeah. Is it true or there is a success rate that you're looking at? Yeah, but I think one important thing is you, you don't need to get rid of your mail. You need to have a backup mail because like in anything, there's not a 100% success. Okay. So we're aiming at a 60-70% strike rate with, with this if you are very successful because it's animals. I mean, oh. you, 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 can, you can miss the ovulation. We try with our processes yes. to make sure the female uh, Get is being fertilized. Yes, yes. So that's and she received. Still so the uh, same in cows, it's so around so 60, 50, Same thing 60. with the cows, same yeah. thing with sheep. Yeah. Uh, you need to have a backup male, but you only introduce that male after 14 days, second cycle after okay. the AI. Otherwise, you're missing the opportunity of introducing this female to this superior semen, not just in the quality of the semen, but in the quality of the animal that you put inside there. So do you think uh, it's a cheaper way of having a pure line in your flock or the cheap the cheaper way is having a buck you need to have both you need to have both. you know obviously the advantage is that you can use again you can use semen of a totally superior buck okay and you can afford to do 20 or 40 of your females with that superior buck okay and you can do crossbreeding with your purebred buck yeah but also you can catch up with him yeah. for the ones that that did not be fertilized wow I love this. Guys, my viewers, uh, what I need only to compliment about this is goat farming is now becoming a number one project, I'm telling you the truth. Because I think now you see the levels that we are moving at from here to there to there. And finally, we shall be there. Uh, what are you holding? I want you to take us through uh, the process. What are the apparatus that you need to have to do at Fisher SM Nation for the small ruminants? Is this the same like... The way we do in goats, is this the same that we do in the in the sheep? Sheep and goats, very much the same. Oh, wow. They, okay. the, we use the same equipment. Yeah. The, the uh, synchronization with hormones is the same. Okay. So, I would differ from cattle. With, yeah. with cattle... You don't need this. You don't need this. Yeah. So, but What here, is this? This is called a speculum. Okay. If you see... Is it a camera or something that you use to check? So, if you can see, it's got a little light inside. Okay. Which you can switch yes. on and off. Yes. And we will later when we do the female, yeah. you will see. So okay. this is just the inside mm -hmm. to make it go in easier. Okay. And this way you get closer towards the cervix okay. of the female where we deposit the semen. Oh, okay. That's then uh, this is uh, called a pipette. So uh, you will see it's a normal little syringe. The tip is a, is a bit slided with an yeah. opening. Yes. So what we do is, we draw a bit of air. Uh -huh. So you pick, let's say so your what, semen is so here. So what we do, right. So what we do before anything. Yes. The semen is coming inside a canister. So unfortunately we don't have the canister here. It's a, we call it a semen canister. Now. The semen comes in straws. The straws look very much the same as this, yeah. about this size. Yeah. The semen have been frozen inside, inside the semen canister. Yeah. Minus 95, 96 degrees. Yes. Frozen. Yeah. So what we do now? Take it out. Defrost at body temperature. The straw. Yes. Put the semen inside. Mm -hmm. Put this inside, mm -hmm. so your technician next to you will keep the semen closed. Lop off from air, mm -hmm. close it with your hand, put it inside the palm of your hand. Okay. So no, we don't want any sunlight, air, because that kills the sperms, the soldiers. Yes. So we want this and the one hand on top. So, right. so what we do now, put this inside. Yeah, we close. We then put uh, 0.5 cc, take it out, under my armpit, 37.5, body temperature. Yes. Body okay. temperature. Body temperature. You can even put this in a bamery, yeah. which is closed. Yeah. The water at 37.5. Yes. It's just more difficult to keep the water at 37.5 than keeping your body temperature. Yes. 
So my assistant is next to me. Then what I do, the guy bring the goat. We need another guy so here. So you bring the goat. Bring another guy. Actually, what we would uh, maybe let these guys know is when we are using, uh, uh, when we use this, we need to have uh, fresh semen, not frozen. That's when we use this. So you can use this. Yes. Or you can use a normal cattle pistol as well. Where you put it in a in a in a in a shaft, yeah. And now you do it there. Wow. So that's also possible. So that's you can do it fresh. Oh. The, the fresh fresh collection story for a different day. Uh, so okay. at the moment, what we're gonna bring is frozen yeah, semen. Frozen. It's available. You prepare your females. Do the AI. Go. Wow. So perfect. So this is this. What what do we call this? But this is just a normal A frame. Okay. You see, you need to keep the female like this. Yes. Just take it here. This one. Just here, here, here. So this is just an A-frame because you want to work downwards into the uterus with your speculum. Okay. I'm going to show you now. Yes. So this is just to... to Lubricant. Uh, this is some loose, just normal oil. Yeah. Just for the female to, to make it easy. Yeah. Go inside. Yeah. So go through. Just keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh, so it has gone inside. Okay. okay. You keep this. Okay. Right. So what we do now? Once it's inside. Yep. We take out the inner piece. Yep. We switch on the light. Yep. And now there you can see the cervix. Can yep. you just go inside there if you can see it? You will see this female have not been treated. Okay. So the the cervix color. Yep. Is a bit bleak. Uh, when they are on heat, yes. the cervix will be pink and a bit swollen. I'm not oh. sure if I'm still on it. Yes, you are on it. I can't even right. see. So what we do now, yep. we take the semen, we go inside there. Then you can take a shot again. So that's where the, the pistolet is going inside. Then you deposit. You can go a bit backwards. The camera, go a bit backwards. So then we inject the semen. Switch off the light, pull out. Then you put out the cathedral. Pull out. Wow, that's perfect. Hi, hey, guys, I think you can leave uh, the person. Uh, guys that really, really wanted to see uh, the technique being done, you have seen it. It's a new technology because in everything that we do, we are looking at technology. So guys, you can easily order for a semen from South Africa when you're in Nigeria. The father of your kid will be in South Africa, and then your animal will be in Ghana. But of course, it will have details of the back, everything. the history, and everything. And I think one of the other advantages, yeah. the biggest advantage, yeah. the semen, and this is why it's important if you use fresh semen as well, the bucks need to be tested for fertility. So the bucks that we, the semen that we froze, that bucks have been blood tested according to export regulations. Yes. The semen have been tested and approved for AI. So you need a certain quality semen that, that can be frozen. So the semen that you receive is guaranteed. Wow. So that means the male will be tested for different diseases, will be tested for so, fertility. So all of it. So we guarantee the quality of the animal and we guarantee the quality of the semen. Wow. That's very perfect. Sir. So, Thank you for this. Uh, I think we need to clone you because we don't want to lose you. <laughs> Whatever you've done the for the breeding. Uh, this, this video, uh, I dedicate it to uh, my doctors that taught me a long time ago through artificial insemination. Guys, we need to do this. We need to do this. So let's concentrate in science because this is really helping us, not only in my country, but a lot of people have done a lot of theory about these practices and people are not practicing. Me, I promise you guys, I'm going to do this because I'm a retired man and I'm going to settle at my farm, start doing my science. So basically, guys, before you die, the knowledge you have, dispense it. Let people learn it. Let people do it. Let me just wish you the best, uh, Mr. Horns. We shall be able to see his farm very soon uh, because I think I'll be in South Africa for a practical training and I'll pay in my time before I start practicing. He's really very ready to supply us with semen. Will you only supply us semen for uh, 
Kalahari red alone or everything? Which so semen are you ready to supply us? Basically the breeds we are breeding. So uh -huh. uh, we we specialize in Kalahari. Kalahari first. Bogots. Bogots. Blackberry. Blackberry. That's the three goat breeds. How about Savannah? Savannah, we can do it on a, on a client base. Yes. So we can, uh, we can, through clients of ours, we can source the bucks to draw yes. the semen. Yes. So we can do that for clients. So you're also, you, they told me you're also breeding for blackberry. Blackberry we can so do. So man, you have a very big problem in South Africa. Your head is not sitting down. Yeah. Will you also give us the, the cows? Do you do some cows? Because... We certainly do cows. Uh, okay. But just to finalize the small stock, we do dopper, white dopper and uh, meat master. Wow. And then on the cattle side, we do Brahman. Uh -huh. Well, the Romagnola is not local, but we do Romagnola. Yes. Um, and Bosmara. Bosmara. Cemento, do you do cemento? No cemento. Angus? Angus we do. Okay. So what you need, we can provide. Wow. Thank you so much. You're a very important person in the lives of all the people, not only me, because me, I can die anytime, but to the entire world. Guys, hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the practical about artificial insemination. I think now you have the entire idea. So Ghana is already sorted. Even the semen, I think, is in as soon as possible. Hobby yes. farm, you know where it is. And uh, most of the people, you've seen the tall man behind me ever. For him, he has moved everything. So Uganda, we are planning for it. Uh, other countries, actually even, we might also be in Grenada, Liberia, and other parts of the country. So guys, let me just wish you the best and see you when you see me. Bye for now.